Hey, are you wondering the best way to cut metal sheeting for your barn, for your shop, um, any type of metal building that has metal sheeting? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how using a few different methods and which one works best. So let's find out, here we go. Before we get started, be sure to always have eye protection and some gloves when you're cutting um, this metal sheeting. Sparks fly all over, depending on the different tools you use, but it's super handy. You're dealing with sharp metal. Here's the different options we're gonna use today. We're gonna be using a grinder with a cutoff wheel, okay? So you can see here, we've got this Malco drill uh, bit attachment. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before. We're gonna try it out. I'm gonna show you how it works. There's also one of these little, um, I don't remember what they're called, but they sell them on Amazon. I'm sure you've seen them as a Facebook ad. We're gonna see if these work well, okay? And we got Sawzall with a metal blade, and we got a Sawzall with a metal blade, okay? This is an Evolution metal blade. I'm gonna show you how that works. And uh, let's dive on in. We'll start with uh, the, one of these options and see which works best. Here we go. All right, the first method is gonna be with a gr grinder. It's a pretty traditional tool that every metal building installer is gonna have um, welder fabricators. So let's try this out. Um, I've done this a lot with the grinder, so let's compare it to see, we're gonna time it and see how fast this goes. Obviously we wanna be quick and efficient, but we also wanna be safe. So we wanna see which tool is the safest and the quickest overall. And so let's see how this goes. So let's start with the grinder, here we go. cut that three foot piece with this uh, this PVR panel with this grinder in about 50 seconds okay so grinder 50 seconds it threw some sparks you know it's a great tool it really is if you got some dry grass and things you know it's not the safest thing um, they can be pretty dangerous too but you know pretty quick and efficient tool so let's try the other ones out and to see which one's any better if not let's see all right our next option is going to be a skill saw and i actually never have used one of these to cut tin before i got one of these steel blades um an evolution blade super great company super good blades uh, made for steel so let's try it out and see how quickly this one goes hey guys if you're finding value in this video or any of our other videos be sure to like and subscribe for more great content we'd love to help you guys out Just use the skill saw 25 seconds went super fast the only thing it was shooting stuff all over little little like bb's little chips um but super fast um super clean cut i'm pretty impressed with this and uh if you're doing a lot of sheets you probably do more than one honestly so there's the skill saw 25 seconds all right our next option we're gonna be using is our sawzall now i haven't actually used one of these just to cut the tin by itself i have cut it when it's attached to the post or your purlins or things when it's attached really well. So let's see how it cuts, but I've got another, uh, again, a metal blade and uh, it's probably gonna bounce around all over, but let's check it out and see, here we go. Yeah, don't use a sawzall. I tried it, and uh, unless you're really attached to something secure, it's not worth it. So forget the sawzall. All right, next tool is gonna be this Malco, made in the USA. Great tool. Um, I just got it to try out, and uh, let's see if it actually cuts through this PBR panel with these valleys and things. So let's try it out. I'm excited to try it. Here we go. All right, Malco tool, pretty cool tool, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> the only issue I ran into here is the valleys. It was pretty difficult going through these valleys, but on the straightaways, the more smoother parts, it flew through that. So it was 110, it's actually a little bit longer, a minute and 10, so a little bit longer than the grinder, so not too bad. Doesn't throw sparks everywhere, doesn't even throw big shavings, so that is a bonus to this Malco tool. If you're out, you know, and it's pretty small, you can throw it in your toolbox, connects to a drill that you pretty much should always have out on the job site. So Malco tools, cool. All right, got, we got this little handy tool now that we're gonna try out, this Dysphius, and uh, it literally just it hooks onto your drill, just like the last one. 
and just chips away at it. So let's see how well this works on this PBR panel. Here we go. All right, now that is a pretty cool tool. It did take a little bit longer. It was a minute, 40 something. And uh, it just literally chips out a bunch of like little fingernail pieces of the metal just all the way across. But it took a little bit of time. Again, the dips and valleys on this PBR panel were a little bit more difficult. Uh, so if you had a straight piece of sheeting or not as, you know, deep of a valley, this would work fantastic, especially if you're doing circles or different, you know, wiggles, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, this would work fantastic. So pretty cool tool, I'm not going to lie. So that is the... I'm gonna figure out exactly what this is called here shortly on this tool. All right, so we just went through each and every one of these, the grinder, the skill saw, this Malco, and this Dispheus, and uh, figure out which one was the fastest, the cleanest, and obviously the safest. So let's go through this real quick. The grinder was 50 seconds. Okay, so we got a nice cut in 50 seconds. This skill saw was 25 seconds it blew through it with this metal blade and it literally was the, probably the cleanest cut out of all of them nice clean straight cut and uh flew through it the only dis the only downfall is all the shavings and things it was cutting off it was throwing them all over the grinder throws sparks so you got to take that into consideration too but it's twice as long you're throwing sparks this is throwing shavings um and then we move over to this malco this Malco was having some troubles going through these valleys. If you had a little bit, again, straighter, smoother uh, piece of metal sheeting, this would work really well if you were just cutting straight. It's still a pretty cool tool. And this one was a minute 10. So it wasn't too far off of the grinder to cut all the way through. If you had, were, if there was a burn ban and you were worried about fires and you had a grinder and this Malco, I would definitely go with the Malco. You're not going to be shooting sparks all over. And it's it's a pretty safe tool, I'm not going to lie. And then we go to this last one, this Dispius. This thing was pretty impressive, not going to lie as well. One minute and 41 seconds. Definitely was the longest, but it, it chipped off a bunch of little fingernail shavings to get through that, and it took a while. Again, the valleys took a little bit longer and held us up. If we had a straighter, just smoother piece of tin or metal sheeting, this would fly through that as well. If you were using it for circles or different swiggle things this would be pretty handy to have i would definitely go with this skill saw this skill saw flew through it if you were going to cut it on the ground before obviously you're putting it up on your metal building your barn your shop um, whatever you were using it for get a nice table and something to support it you could probably cut three to four sheets and fly through it in 25 seconds super clean cut guys just go with the skill saw you also have a few of these options to use if you're looking for another option. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this helped answer your questions on which tool or which option or an option that you may not have heard of or seen before is best when cutting metal sheeting for your barn, your shop, your metal building. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.